As an endurance athlete for seven years, I strongly believe there is a time and place for everything. Whether it would be lower intensity recovery days or high intensity hardcore double training sessions. This is how I'm training for the start of my taper week as I later taper down to fully recover to be in peak shape for my Sunday 10k race. I started off by going to the pool to do some warm up laps and then I did some high intensity interval training doing freestyle. Swimming is one of the best things you can do if you want a cardiovascular exercise that isn't too hard on your joints. After having lunch and taking a quick break, I immediately went over to my second training session which is a 30 minute steady state run. The goal of this run was just to get the legs spinning, keep it light and easy so that you are running at a conversational pace and it was a really good feeling. Now I know what you may be thinking, Hong, is it necessary to do doubles for any sort of endurance sport? And the answer to that is yes, but also no. For someone like myself, I either choose to do two endurance sessions or one strength and one endurance session depending on what event I want to compete in next. What people need to understand is that the progression of fitness is not 100% linear and there may be ups and downs as your body tries to adapt to new training stimulus. But overall, it's the people that stay consistent and make small and realistic progressions that yield the best results. So, to my fellow endurance athletes, do you train doubles? If so, why or why not? Comment down below the word double and I will send you a free training guide on how to improve your endurance times. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll see you on the next one.